Hey guys, so I'm here to do a full moon and Libra reading and this will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. As always, these readings are general, they're for the collective. So if anything doesn't resonate, just leave it for someone who needs to hear it. If the entire reading doesn't seem to be your reading, check your other placements. I guarantee you, your message is there. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you need to book a private personal reading or any other services, all that information is in the description below and in the pinned section of the comments. And I just want to take a minute to thank all my subscribers who gave me some kind, gentle, encouraging words during the little period of grief that I'm going through here. Uh, it really means the world to me, so thank you. So this is how I'm going to look at this reading. I'll pull the overall energy from the Woodland Oracle. We'll use the Moonology deck to pull the current energy, the energy that you'll be facing under the full moon. We will pull a challenge card, and we will pull advice, and I'll clarify everything with the Tarot. What can you tell me for Libra? For the full moon and Libra? We have cleanse. Wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades. So your current energy is communication is key. The full moon energy is a fiery climax approaches. The challenges believe in the impossible. And the advice is work through your fears. clarify but it seems like there's some some type of news in the current that requires this cleanse energy um, which can come a, uh, you know cleanse cleansing can come a whole bunch of different ways and we will clarify I feel like under the full moon there's going to be a climax in emotions that brings upon this cleanse could be you know just a cry session something like that believing in the impossible as the challenge and that is hard to do isn't it let's get into this let's clarify tell me about cleanse for Libra please A deep connection. For communication is key, we have the Five of Wands, the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands.
there is some type of word that brought about specific changes and they're very rough ones. These, these changes are triggering. At the current time, it's like we're just sort of being silent, keeping to ourselves. Um, maybe trying to connect or communicate with source. To try to overcome the exact situation in the current. Tell me about a fiery climax approaches. The chariot. Judgment. Justice. Libra energy. You know, I think you got some news that shook you, and it was about someone that you're very close to. Um, like a soulmate, you know? And through this cleansing, we're finding inner peace, we're finding balance, forgiveness, acceptance. But it starts off with this quiet motion, while there's a bit of a rage burning inside, you know, until it actually climaxes and it gets to this cleansing state. So, <clears throat> tell me about believing the impossible, because this is the challenge. Death. You know, for some of you here, it, you really did get news that you lost a loved one. And the challenge here is accepting that there is still a new chapter to come. It's almost like we can get really stuck into this rage and the sadness. But once we accept you know, and for some of you, this is not the loss of a loved one in, in the sense of actual, you know, a loved one passing. You may have, you know, get news that somebody that you're in love with, you know, maybe moving forward or something, you know. But, you know, the, the challenge is accepting an ending and seeing it as transformation, a new beginning where you will, you know, find balance again. You know, you will have happiness again, love again. But once we accept this, we're able to justify things, make sense of them, release them, let it go, and that is that cleansing energy. And the advice you have worked through your fears. The Magician. Six of Wands. King of Cups. Maybe you're afraid of the cleanse.
but there's a lot of Pluto energy there with the original Scorpio energy and the King of Cups. So You know, it's sort of like you do have to accept this change. Um, and the deep emotions that come with it, you will be able to conquer, you know, because we're going from this nine of wands where we're feeling like so defeated, you know, like we really need to rest and recuperate to this six of wands, which is successfully fulfilling this, you know, coming full completion with it, death in the world accepting but we do have to do this part the emotional part at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of swords you don't want to keep this a mental thing because it will build up over time it'll become anxiety fears um, You don't want to create like a mental prison for yourself in the situation. It's it's time to go ahead, cry it out, release it, free yourself from it. So, yeah, <laughs> you got you know you got to go ahead and deal with the emotional aspect of this loss because it is an ending, but it's also the opportunity for a brand new beginning. And don't be afraid of the change, Just, you know. For some of you, it's a, a, a grieving process. For others of you, it's releasing it to just get back your emotional stability. But it does look like a challenging moon, for sure. But one that comes with deep healing. Right, that's what I have for you. I'll see you soon.